So this was C.S. Lewis's upstairs study. Um, he began to use this from about 1950 onwards. Um, it was originally a bedroom for someone else in the household, um, but he, he began to use it. And he had a, had a desk here in front of this fireplace. You can see a, this is a photograph of him in front of this fireplace. Um, so some of the, the later Narnia chronicles were probably written in this very room. And uh, Lewis saw the stars from his bedroom. Yes, this was his bedroom. And this was his bedroom and he had a, a little external staircase coming up to his bedroom. Uh, you can just about make out the rail and the banister there. And apparently he sometimes set up his telescope on that little balcony there and then looked up at the night sky and and made his various observations. He, he frequently writes about what he sees in the night sky in his letters. Something during Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah, there was one particular um, occasion just after Christmas when he wrote and said to someone, um, did you see that marvellous arrangement of, of Jupiter, Venus and the Moon around about Christmas time, just past? Um, majesty and love linked by virginity. What could be more appropriate for Christmas? And by that he meant Majesty Jupiter, the king. Uh, love, represented by Venus, the planet of love, linked by virginity, represented by the moon, the chaste moon. So he really did look closely at the night sky and think about its symbolic qualities. It wasn't just for him a literary gain or, or, a, or a historical interest. It was a, a living, ongoing reality in his own life and imagination.